Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. If you saw my video on Monday, you saw I made some little envelopes that could be for cash stuffing, for saving, or maybe just little envelopes to put handmade vouchers in, you know, a year's supply of babysitting, love notes or stuff like that. And I promised you that today I would show you how to make the box for them. Now, if I take all of this off, the box lid and base are exactly the same size so you could make it just as a nice gift box and it's going to fit flush over the top in which case you'd probably want to put handy holders in but because I designed this as um, to work with these little envelopes I wanted the envelopes to sit higher than the side of the box so that you could get at them easily and that meant that I wanted well I, and I did want to have a little bit of the cardstock from the bottom on show and I thought it was rather nice like, like I say the envelopes were designed for um, the current cash savings trend that is going around but you could make you could use the envelopes for tips or something like that or as I suggested you could maybe make in put in vouchers you know that you make yourself like I say you supply a babysitting yes please except I've got you know children who practically look after themselves but let's make the box so you need two pieces of cardstock one for the base one for the lid that are exactly the same size eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches if you work in metric 20 and a half by 20 and a half centimeters and then some paper which I'll talk about in a second so I'm going to work on the base first you actually measure them whoops and score in exactly the same way so each side is going to get scored at two and a half inches which is six centimeters if you work in metric so just keep rotating around so that is the base the lid albeit eight and a quarter inches by eight and a quarter so it's exactly the same size we're going to score it at two and a half inches except it's a hair of a whisper underneath two and a half so we, the best thing to do is just slide your cardstock away from the edge and then come in and score it at that same two and a half inches. It's actually something like, well, two and seven sixteenths or something like that, or 5.8 centimetres. But it's, you know, a hair of a whisper is a very good descriptive term, I think. Okay. And you build the boxes exactly the same way. So I'll do the Orchid Oasis version first. So that's all scored and burnished. And then the polished pink. And we're losing polished pink as an in colour. Okay. And I'm going to cut straight on that bleh, rectangle, the word I can't say, <laughs> and wedge into the square and then rotate and cut. And I'm going to do that for both of them. Um, now, if you didn't see Monday's video, do go back and, and have a look at it. I talked about when I used to keep cash in envelopes for things many years ago when... Um, I don't know if I had all four boys, but I certainly had um, a number of boys. And our, we used to pay the milkman on a weekly basis. He used to come and knock on the door to be paid. And I used to pay him in cash. He didn't like checks and online banking, not so much a thing then. Um, and I used to pay for after school club in cash. And just I needed cash for lots of things. These days, everything's done by, you know, online. I mean, my milk my milk delivery I can um, pay that on well it's still automatically paid on a monthly basis but I can go and do that online and change my quantities mark down on holidays and stuff like that boys don't go to after school clubs so I don't need cash as much as I did um but having cash around is always a good thing okay let's work on the base so I'm going to use seal plus just for speed purposes but I would suggest tear and tape, whoops, something like that. Um, and then you just build up the box. Oops, oh, I think that's just wibbled a bit. Oh, well. Seal Plus is strong. Um, okay. 
and then the lid I'm going to put my paper on first before I um, seal it up just because it's simpler so I've got four pieces that are two and a quarter inches by three inches and then one for the center that's three by three so in metric uh, five and a half by eight centimeters then eight by eight it's very slightly different sizes for metric um, and I'm leaving the box reasonably plain for a couple of reasons. One, because I don't actually want to shine a light on the box. Um, if I am doing saving in this method, I want to forget to remember that I've got the cash. And if I've got it in a big box that says savings, then I remember it's there. I see it all the time. Um, and although this, in my case, this is sitting up here, my savings sit up here in my office. I'm just told the world where I keep cash um, and nobody comes up here. If you were to leave cash around in your home, that you might have visitors, you know, delivery men or whatever. But you know what I'm saying. Um, you don't really want to shine a light on that either. And, you know, the chances are out there. You know, those who prey on the unsuspecting. So I liked the discreet nature of the box. Now, if you were going to make the envelopes and a lovely box and you were going to make those 12 handmade vouchers, the, the year's supply of babysitting or the year's supply of mum's meals or whatever it is, you might want to fancy it up a little bit more, but... We'll go with discreet now. And like I say, there's no envelopes in this one. So this is just going to slip all the way down. And actually, that does make rather a nice gift box. Um, it measures... <laughs> what does it measure? Three and a quarter by two and a half. Um, yeah, three and a quarter by three and a quarter by two and a half, if fully closed. And then if you've got the envelopes inside, it makes it a little taller. So... Let me just grab half a dozen of those and pop them in there. And you can see that it just sits proud a little bit. And I love it. I think that's really nice. Oh, look, there's not enough in there now. Oh, I might need to make more envelopes. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody else is like me. If you see stuff, you, you remember it. But if it's out of sight and out of mind and... Oh, look, my bow's come undone. Oh, that's why it's that's why it's easier to get on. Um, if it's out of sight, out of mind and all of that, you forget to remember it's there. Oh, Sorrel's woken up. The other two are still asleep. Um, yeah, it, and it just, yeah, you forget about it. Oh, hello. <laughs> she's letting everybody know she's here. And I'm making, I'm not tying this like a traditional parcel because I do want to be able to get the ribbon on and off to add cash in. <laughs> One long end. And I think those are fab. So what do you think? Now I have one more box for this to come. You'll see that on Friday. And then I have another variation on a theme on Monday but anyway come back on Friday to see a different box for these envelopes anyway thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you soon bye